Manny Diaz's split field coverage. Before we get started, could you just define for our listeners split field coverage? What is it? Yeah, I mean, so if, if you're going to break it down in layman's terms, you know, it really boils down to most offenses have created uh, split field uh, concepts when it comes to passing game. And so the defense has learned to match it. So the old days of, you know, 4-4 four, four, cover 3 or just cover 2 or cover 4, cover 1, um, those have kind of gone out the window and people, what they're doing is they're creating coverage calls um, based on the side of the offensive formation. Um, you may have cover 4 on the strong side and you may have cover 2 on the other. Um, or you know, you may have a roll down safety to make cover three to one side, man to another side. Um, the idea is to create different looks for the offense so that there's not one solid look. Split field coverage has been the answer to RPOs and to the way offenses are moving when it comes to like uh, fast tempo. It also looked and watched your video that you're trying to give the quarterback something new to look at. It's not a simple. Uh, get behind the center, take a look up, maybe see where the safety is or how many safeties are deep, but you're actually uh, deceptive in what kind of coverage you're running. Is that correct, too? Yeah, 100%. So, like, if you were to go into a game, you know, back in the you know, back in the 80s, even in the 90s, you know, you'd walk in, you'd tell the quarterback, you'd walk, tell the quarterback straight up, hey, listen, uh, is it too high or one high? Is the middle field open or closed? Um, so if it's too high, it's only going to be cover two, cover four. If it's one high, it's only going to be cover one or cover three. Um, and those rules have changed. So now you can't do that as a quarterback. Now you have to look at both sides, try to determine the, the, the coverage on both sides and say, okay, maybe over to the right side, they're running a cover two look. But that for some reason over here, it looks like a cover one look. And the idea is to, is to put a little, bit of a little bit of hesitation in the quarterback and to create different looks for him because, you know, the game has changed so much in the past 15 years. It's a chess match. It's not checkers. It's... Okay, what are they looking at pre-snap? What are they seeing? You know, because every every team is taught the same thing. It goes back to what does the quarterback see pre-snap? What does he see post-snap? Right? Pre-snap determines where he's going to look. Post-snap determines if he's going to throw or give the ball or whatever it might be. So, if you screw up the pre-snap, then by simple deductive reasoning, the post-snap is going to be even more confusing for a quarterback. Gotcha. Now. We're talking in terms of Manny Diaz with this kind of coverage. In watching any of the film of Penn State's defense, ha do they have they already been playing this kind of coverage? Yeah, they have. Um, I would say that Penn State lived in a lot of cover three um, and a lot of man, um, really, truly, uh, that from last year. Um, but I think they do that because Penn State was a heavy blitz team, right? And so there's only so many things you can do when you blitz as much as they did. Um, I think Manny Diaz is going to bring the same kind of answer. Uh, Penn State's and always, you know, back in the day, 4-3, cover 3 or 4-3, cover 4, you know, linebacker you, let him run. And so I think that Manny Diaz is going to bring a little bit more of that, that uh, southern flair, the, you know, the Florida idea of let's overload the side and let's just freaking get to town. So it'll be exciting. Penn State fans should be really excited about it. Manny Diaz is a phenomenal defensive coordinator.